Lions are famously referred to as the king of the jungle, and that's weird because they often don't live in jungles. And on top of that, if you look really closely, you might find it's the lionesses that are really the bosses of the pride. in a safari park, I think. I know. Ah! There's a locked, locked door. door. Oh, you could not accelerate quick enough, could you? Oh my gosh, I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Lions are the only big cats that habitually live in big groups called prides. There's multiple types of intelligence, right? But, but lions are socially intelligent. They can watch a lion undertake an activity and just by watching, learn what to do themselves. They might even try and open your door. I know. <laughs> so it's best to keep your doors locked. Locked? Yes. Are you sure? I hope so. It's the female lions that do the majority of the hunting and they go for smaller prey like warthogs and smaller antelope. Lions can run fast. They can go at like 80 kilometers an hour, but only over a really short distance because they overheat. She's getting closer. That warthog is completely oblivious. Oh <gasps> That shows teamwork. See, it's gonna catch it. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at how many there are. What were those birds? There's too much going on. What? He's such a balletic leap from that wildebeest. It's like Barishnikov at the prime. The beast is amazing! That jump! Oh. And it almost looks like it managed to get like a boot in on the way past as well. <laughs> Bloody incredible. One lion will clock the prey, say a wildebeest, and it looks directly at the wildebeest. And all the other lions are like, oh, a wildebeest. And that is the moment that the hunt begins. Because the lions don't really like to run, they like to be efficient. And in this case, efficiency is teamwork. He's looking nervous. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, the females are not happy. It's a terrifying sound. Oh. The lion's roar is the loudest of the big cat's roars. This male lion has been very brave and decided that he will come up to a group of like six or seven females who have got cubs and be like, how you doing ladies? <laughs> Having none of it, none of it. And they've got good reason to do that because female lions are induced ovulators. So what happens if a male comes in, takes over a big group of lionesses, he'll go around and kill all the cubs, right? And that forces the females to ovulate and they have a whole new batch of cubs. The thing is though, female lions will defend their cubs to the death. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> Stay away from the water. Oh my God, the little fluffy tail. Oh, it's just too much. <laughs> so cute. Back at the water's edge. Oh, she got a good grip on him that time. Oh God, the other ones are at the water on the other side. Why would you be a mother? If a male coalition takes over the pride, the females will all have babies around the same time, right? So they've got like a heap of cubs, so it's easy to sort of put them into a big group so that some females can go off hunting and some females are in charge of looking after the cubs. Get away from the water. They truly are the super mums of the animal world. Oh. <laughs> 
relationships that lions have are incredible. They coordinate to hunt, they call on each other for help, they work together to raise their cubs. I mean, they've got it all. Could you get a better team player? I don't know. If you like this video and you want to find out more amazing animal facts, then you should find my podcast. It's weekly and it's called What the Duck. Yes, you can find it on the ABC Listen app and also anywhere that you find your podcasts.